Hi, I'm Tony Bellamy and welcome to Just Coolin, where bebop meets hip hop and the many flavors of jazz. We pay tribute to jazz greats, innovators of the music, and that would be Horace Ward Martin Tavares Silva, pianist, composer, and band leader, known as Horace Silva. He was born September 2, 1928 in Norwood, Connecticut. His father, John, was a native of the Cape Verdean Island and his mother, Gertrude, was born in Connecticut. Young Horace Silva's music interest began at age 11 when he heard the Jimmy Lunsford Band at a dance hall. Horace began taking piano lessons, but was also a fan of jazz tenor great Lester Young, so he practiced both piano and saxophone every day. As a teenager, he listened to Lester Young's records to master his solo chord changes. In high school, Horace began playing with various dance bands. In Connecticut, developing his own skills. One particular gig was with trumpeter Kenny Durham. After hearing him play, invited Horace to check out the New York City jazz scene at age 16. It was during his New York City visit, skipping school, he made the switch to playing the piano after watching piano great Art Tatum at the Downbeat Jazz Club. After high school, at age 18, Horace moved to Hartford, Connecticut to begin his music career, gigging at various clubs and becoming quite well known. It was at a Hartford gig in 1950, his trio backed tenor saxophonist Stan Getz. Horace became a member of Stan Getz's quintet until 1951 and wrote tunes with a Latin influence, such as Split Nickel. The Getz group had many musicians that came and went, such as bassist Charles Mingus and drummer Art Blakey. During the same period, Horace had developed a style known as hard bop which had gospel roots and blues, an East Coast sound, as opposed to cool jazz in the West. This term hard bop was merely an extension of the modern music developed by Byrd and Gillespie, and Horace Silver didn't like it. From 1951 through 1954 in New York City, Horace wrote great music with several quintets featuring Coleman Hawkins, Kenny Durham, and Lester Young. In 1954, he founded the Jazz Messengers with Art Blakey recording Doodlin' and the Preacher that featured Silver's easygoing, funky sound. In 1956, Horace left the Jazz Messengers and formed his own quintet as he developed his post-bop sound of Latin, gospel, and blues. In 1957, Horace recorded the album Six Pieces of Silver with the tune Senor Blues, a big hit featuring Donald Byrd followed with tunes Peace, Sister Sadie and Filthy McNasty recorded live at the Village Vanguard in 1961. Harvey Silver's favorite quintet formed in 1960 and stayed together for six years, featuring Blue Mitchell, Junior Cook, Gene Taylor, and Louis Hayes. You see, Harvey Silver's music was spiritual, inspiring, fun, and always cooking. Inspired by his father's Cape Verdean music and bossa nova, in 1964, Silver recorded A Song for My Father, a blue note recording, and one of the greatest tunes in jazz that expanded his audience beyond jazz. Horace Silver followed that with albums Cape Verdean Blues, Jody Grind, and many more recordings through the 60s with blue note records. In 1970, Horace Silver's music took a new direction, a change of spirit, and recorded four albums for Blue Note called The United States of Mind. These albums featured Horace Silver playing an electric piano, percussion, soul, and vocals, featuring vocalists such as Andy Bay. This post-1970 new music drew the wrath of jazz critics and radio stations. No surprise. But this didn't stop Horace, who then formed his own record label called Silvetto Records. Horace Silver's greatest recordings continued with the Silver Inn series, 1997's A Prescription for the Blues, and 1998's Jazz Has a Sense of Humor, featuring ensembles. You see, Horace was combining his spirituality with his music, the same as Duke Ellington had done, facing resistance. But Horace kept his sense of humor, smile, dignity, and spirituality. Mr. Silver transitioned at age 85, June 18, 2014, leaving a pool of music yet to be heard. Let's get cooking, as Horace Silver would say, here on WJAZ, Just Coolin'.